What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to Marvin Johnson for the ten dollar donation via the Cash App. Much respect to him for showing love to the channel. All right. So there are reports. And I'm going to put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below that the Milwaukee Bucks have tried to, uh, or they're trying to, cash in on the Dame Lillard sweepstakes. Of course, Dame Lillard wants out of Portland, uh, as he is convinced now that they are not trying to build a championship team that can win in the near future. And while he appears to want to go to Miami, and only Miami, The Heat do not seem to be willing to part with the pieces necessary to complete a trade for Dame Lillard. Therefore, as we near uh, training camp and near the start of the season, which is now a month away, um, other teams have entered the fray. One of these teams, as I've said, is the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, this article doesn't mention this, and this is just another prime example uh, of how small markets are frowned upon by the mainstream media. This article indicates that Lillard has never shown any interest in playing with Giannis or the Bucks, but I've seen Lillard say at least on two occasions that the one player in the NBA he would love to play with more than any other is Giannis Antetokounmpo. He did it in the Q&A, uh, I think it was a couple of years ago, and he said it the year before that, I think in an interview, that one of the players that he would like to play with, or the player he like to play with the most would be Giannis. But that doesn't fit into the narrative because they want Dame in a large market, the mainstream media. They want him playing in a large market, preferably Miami, backup-wise New York. Not little Milwaukee. Um, but we always saw the hate that San Antonio Spurs got. You know, uh, that's partially why Tim Duncan's legacy, despite being a five-time NBA champion, only losing once in the finals. Uh, and, and even with that, that was just a, a seven-game series loss. And being a two-time league MVP, he doesn't seem to pop up in people's top five and barely in people's top ten which is a disgrace. But you're trying to tell me I'm going to look at Steph Curry as top five or a GOAT in point guard when Tim Duncan has more honors and a better resume? But anyway, I digress. The only reason why I think, and by the way, uh, I know LB has talked about this possible matchup, but me and 78, uh, we've talked about the potential for Dane playing with Giannis for years, at least going back to 2018, um, and how they would fit, be a, a perfect fit. You know, uh, he would, you know, he would complement Giannis post game. Well, you know, Giannis doesn't have the greatest post game, but Giannis is a terror in the paint. He's definitely not a terror on the outside. That's Dane Lillard's forte. Dane could also be that fourth quarter closer that the team needs at times when Giannis may not have it going as far as a jump shot or making free throws. Dame is an excellent foul shooter, and he is a closer. And he can facilitate. So he can get other guys going who are on the team may struggle in one-on-one -on -one situations. Now the problem would be, of course, with a guy like Dane, more than likely, the Bucks would have to give up not just Chris Middleton, but Drew Holiday. Are they willing to do that? Um, I, I'll put it to you like this. This is just my opinion. I think Dane, uh, excuse me, uh, Giannis is cool with Chris Middleton and likes him, and that's why he's still there. But I think that... Uh, 
Giannis's need to win supersedes relationships. And if he feels as if though Dame may be a better fit, and if Dame is willing to come to Milwaukee, <clears throat> then I think that that's something that could possibly be done. I think that that's something that could possibly be done by the Bucks organization. But, you know, if they get a feeling, I mean, if it comes to them having to trade those guys, if it's possible, to get Dame Lillard, I guess, but they just re-signed Chris Middleton. You know, so I don't know if Chris Middleton will be part of the equation. Maybe it'll be... I don't know. Maybe it'll be... Uh, you know... Grayson Allen. Maybe it'll be... Drew Holiday. Grayson Allen. Maybe another piece. Maybe some picks. I don't. I don't know what they'll do. I don't know. Um, but at the end of the day, if they want Giannis, they gotta do something because I've kind of felt like the team was a little bit stagnant this year too, you know. And um, championship teams have to make some have to make adjustments, and um, you know, it is what it is. That's just how I feel about it, man. It's just gonna have to end up being um, is Dane willing to come to the walk? I don't know, you know. He seems so adamant about going to Miami, according to reports. So I don't know if it'll ever actually happen. But it is what it is. Um, but apparently the Bucks are now in serious discussions to try to acquire Dame Lillard. The question is whether or not they're actually successful. Tell me what you guys think.